Leo Mercer said, said, Brother Bram, the time will come after this, said, about five or six years ago, maybe seven, said, when the Lord go to change your ministry, Brother Branham, and said, when he does, said, you'll probably just line up hospitals and speak them out of the, uh, the beds and things. It didn't sound right, although I believe Brother Leo was trying to be sincere about it, but it didn't sound just right because, see, our Lord Jesus never did that. See, and he went into the hospitals. There was one in that hospital. Do you remember where it was at in the Bible? The Pool of Bethesda. Great multitudes of, yeah, of important people laid there, crippled, lame, blind, withered, waiting for the angel. Now that was in a spiritual hospital where people waited on divine healing. And here the divine healer himself came in and healed one and walked out. So you couldn't expect a mortal man or a ministry to come forth to be any greater than that was. I couldn't agree with it. But as I started to turn around, the Holy Spirit come upon me. I asked Leo for a pen. I got a piece of paper and I wrote it. It's in his trailer today, if you ever up where it's at. It's that old aluminum trailer where it had the loading outfit. Just as you go in the door, the shelf on the right-hand side, right in front of the trailer, it's laying under there. I laid that there. I said, someday you can pull this out. God will never change the ministry, but He'll change the man with the ministry. That's what's to be done. 